Welcome back to my Patreon page. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to update our analysis. I will also repeat my previous analysis, uh, which was the uh, going to. In, in today's video, we are basically going to see the longer term forecast, which we did a couple of about uh, a week ago, and we are also going to look into the smaller time frame analysis and see where exactly the prices are expected to go from here now. So we're going to discuss uh, British pound, euro, silver, and gold in the same sequence. First of all, uh, good thing is that we have done the price movement downward. We're expecting the from the top. You're expecting for the price movement to down, go down, and it has gone down. Uh, here, when price in fact went down, of course, uh, and when it started going up, you can actually see uh, that we have A, A, B, C, and another C. So basically A and wave B, which is a flat collection and a wave C. And then we have three wave structure, a three wave structure, and a five wave structure, basically completing a flat. This is what we forecasted in the previous. I also indicated that when this particular move was uh, is complete, we were expecting for the price movement to go up. And that's exactly what we have seen on in British Pound. So the point is, what, we, what do we expect from over here? Uh, I think uh, if you are long in, in British Pound as per our forecast, it's time to bring in your stop or loss closer to the entry point right over here too. I was able to enter my trade right over here too as well using the the confirmation of the trend line. So you can bring your trend line stop loss closer making sure that if things go otherwise uh, you will not be facing any loss. As, as far as the price target is concerned, we are expecting for the price to shoot up forward and go on and top create a double top with, with this one with the previous right one over here which is 1.34092 however in some some circumstances the uh, because of the lack of momentum there is a possibility that we can actually not hit the target so it's a better to do uh, to keep your uh, keep a lower target right over here too and I think I'll be exiting right over here too let me so this is an important part after we have seen the longer price movement going up uh, that after that we are gonna expect the prices to come down alright let me see that so once again this is the fork part of our previous forecast and this is part of the previous forecast when targeted are hit we are going to wait for a while and then we will expect for prices to come down alright and this swing is should be indicative the maximum uh, the main swing should turn down it should turn down right over here or it can actually go down all the right over here possibly so it's going to this price movement is going to be very messy every time prices come down and complete a, a complete a pattern uh, then we'll go long that's the plan for trading the the swing and if some of you guys actually missed I in my one of my previous forecast I did analyze uh, that you were expecting for the price of British pound to go long and the path is going to take is not going to be easy uh, so we are trying to go long and take profit and then wait for the prices to come down and then go on again long and take profits this is what the plan is definitely so this is what I'm discussing on a smaller time frame now that we are um, we have seen a bullish day and I'm expecting that this strength will carry on and we should be I should I'm going to be uh, exiting my trade and I'm expecting that this uh, resistance uh, is going to act as a good solid resistance and the larger price action that we have seen starting from this bottom would be completed in that case we are expecting for the prices to come down and I'm thinking that the prices should come down at least in this area but there is not necessity that it it not it's gonna stop there there's nothing is once again we're talking about market swings market can push it down further to create a double bottom with this one however this is more likely to happen that the prices will stay in this particular range so this is going to be very interesting um, trading setup for now we are long and then uh, we'll talk more when it goes at the top euro is also interesting the reason today whole reason today I'm uh, posting video is because there is some strength left there's a lot of strength left in euro if you have missed out on uh, British pound I think that euro is going to give us some uh, similar strength coming in next uh, uh, about 24 hours so so first of all on my longer term analysis I did indicate to you guys uh, on my previous analysis that we are expecting for the price of euro to go long right over here I also indicated that we are very close to the the historical lows uh, but we gotta keep an eye on it we cannot leave the price or trade hanging on for three four weeks because uh, 
uh, some dramatic swings could be uh, on their way once again uh, in my own from weekend previous weekend I did indicate you guys that you're expecting for the price to go down which it has gone down I also indicated a support level which is coming right over handy right now I indicated the good way uh, to trade the bullish pattern is to wait for the break of the price we have two support uh, first of all the larger pattern and then we have a smaller pattern actually that actually started right in the middle and, and that's what I particularly used uh, to go long right over here too. I basically used something called um, Fibonacci analysis or percentage analysis. I went long at 75%. So I went long at 75% considering that this important structure was coming back in again. So, um, you know, if you are long right now, it's better to bring your st stop losses closer because if this structure is broken, if this structure is broken, it means we are going further down. Right now, the analysis is giving us an indication that we are bullish on Euro. We have created a higher low uh, right over here too. First of all, uh, let me bring right over here too. First of all, we have main low and a higher low and even higher low. And we have created a higher high and a higher high or you can get a double top as well. So right now, I'm expecting that only part of this uh, price movement is complete. And I'm expecting that we should uh, be able to see the price of Euro uh, go in this particular range right over here in a day or uh, a day and a half I'm expecting we have seen in some impulsive action already we have come out of the the structure on a smaller time frame and the one that actually started right from over here so I'm expecting that this should carry on right over here once again we can actually bring our target a little low to make sure that we catch on uh, we complete our trade once that trade is complete, I'm expecting that resistance should come in handy and we should see reversal. We should expect for the price of euro to fall down. Uh, once again, the main swing that I'm expecting should be uh, carrying the prices down right over here in this region. And once again, there is nothing in the market that cannot actually bring it back to create a double bottom with this one, uh, creating a larger pattern right over here. Uh, so once again, I'm talking too much of it into the uh, into the future uh, right now we are focused on the upside and I'm expecting in a day or day and a half we should be seeing some strength the one that we have seen in uh, in in British pound I'm expecting some of that will actually come back here in in British pound gold and silver have given us a little surprise you were expecting that the, the price of gold will actually uh, silver will carry on and gold is also created a bottom and will carry on Instead, we can see that the uh, the bottom is yet not in. It looks to me that we have a little more price movement downward left, uh, and uh, there is a possibility that we might see a double bottom forming with uh, this particular low right over here. There is a possibility right over here. Once again, the important support structure that lies right over here for silver is this one. This whole region is very, very important for silver. We have seen one support coming in, and I'm expecting that we should probably be seeing a double bottom forming in this will give a chance for euro and British pound to go high and then this will be able to uh, complete the pattern that it looks like we are completing a five wave structure down one two three four and five so a larger correction uh, than we expected uh, has is going on underway I'm expecting that as soon as we have seen uh, the completion of this particular pattern let's draw a trend line to do that and as soon as the, trend, uh, the completion of this trend line uh, or this particular pattern that started from right over here or the larger pattern that actually started right from over here uh, will give us an indication that it will turn bullish. So this price movement could be uh, slow and time consuming uh, right on the one like we have seen right over here. Uh, so once again, as soon as this particular price movement is confirmed, uh, we can see the break of the... Mm, the trend line to see the pattern is complete that we, will go, we should go long and I'm expecting that we should actually see some solid strength coming in silver and gold as well so for I think the price target should be in this range right over here we'll see some a lot of correction in this stage initially we are going to see something like this right over here too but when prices go up then we'll talk about the price targets as well once again a little, little move price movement is left and then we should be expecting going up keep in mind that when prices have broken the previous low they are right now retesting the uh, the, uh, the resistance actually all right so and there are th this is resistance has uh, 
gone to a stage of support and right now I'm expecting a little push down is expected forming a double bottom with this one and then we should go long. Gold is uh, also um, uh, doing a similar pattern let me bring that a uh, 15 minute chart and uh, once again instead here right of here this bottom is although broken uh, and the price has gone up but we can see that this top uh, is giving some support right now to the price action there is a possibility that you might see double bottom coming in handy with gold as well in next few hours um, and uh, this will shall give us enough time for euro and British pound to complete the price action and then after that when we'll see a correction coming back in euro and British pound we should go long in gold uh, we can actually wait for the price action to give us a completion and I think for that we can use a trend line right over here too let's see if we can uh, draw a good trend line giving us an indication that the structure uh, is complete the previous structure is complete so right now prices are staying uh, away from the trend line and uh, giving us an indication that there's some more price action on the downward is left once again it's not advisable to trade these smaller price movement it is absolutely not advisable we are waiting for uh, this particular structure to complete there is no guarantee that this structure is not complete so we cannot take this trade it's of your choice but what well, there is no guarantee let's say price actually comes out of this particular trend line giving an indication that we have created the bottom in that case you should not be using this bottom but actually this bottom alright so once again these are your trading decisions as far uh, as my knowledge is concerned I think that the longer uh, turn the longer swing in in gold and silver are both bullish it's just a matter of when actually it starts in a few hours maybe uh, I hope that you guys like the content uh, wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye